Hello everyone. Thanks so much for watching the video. Now many people know that I have many different loves and hobbies. Arcades being one of them, toys and tools and collectibles. But my other number one love, guys, is horror movies. Okay, I love horror movies. Especially my number one favorite horror movie of all time. The OG 1978 John Carpenter's Halloween. I saw that movie when I was a little child, and that just jump-sparked my love and interest in horror movies. I loved every single horror movie from all the way back in the day of Bela Lugosi and Boris Karloff and Long Chaining, all the way up to the newest horror movies of today. So what I have for you today is a collectible that commemorates the 1978 John Carpenter's Halloween. So what I do is I have it in a box right here and I want to bring it over to the table. I haven't opened it yet. I want to open it with you guys so you could get the first look at it as I do. So let's take a look at this thing. Hang in there with us. All right, guys. So here we are. Here's the box. We're going to open it up in a minute. But first, uh, if you... Guys, can do me a favor, give me a thumbs up on the video for making it for you guys. And please consider subscribing to the channel. It gives me more opportunities to bring you even more content. All right? All right, so let's rip this open and see what we have in here. Here it is, guys. Now, as I stated before, this is a fully licensed product through Ripple Junction. Uh, that's the company that makes this. Here's their card, Ripple Junction. Uh, they make a lot of different uh, apparel and, uh, you know, fan-crafted stuff also. There is the code in case you want to click on that. It'll take you right to the website. They have a lot of nice stuff over there. All right, so let me get the box out of the way here and take a look at it. Now, what's so great about this is it has the lenticular lens on here, which it has the two pictures of Laurie Strode and uh, Michael Myers. And you will actually see the, uh, the picture change on the brim. I guess I'm gonna have to rip it. There it is, guys. Take a look at that. Let's see if I can get that to move. Hang on. There we go. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Look at that. Let's see, is that showing up all right there? There's Lori Strode. Into Michael Myers. Very, very cool. Now, it's a flat-brimmed hat. You can't really bend, uh, you know, you can't bend it down into a duckbill uh, because of that lenticular lens. You don't want to be ruining that lens. But this isn't really something you would really want to wear. It's more something as a collectible you want to put on a shelf. But I'll tell you what, though. The hat is really, really made nice. It's 100% cotton. It's really thick, too. Nice binding on the inside. They have uh, they have a cardboard in here to keep it from uh, bending, which I'm going to keep in there so it doesn't flop and bend down. But um, it is really nice looking. The embroidery of the Halloween logo with John Carpenter's name and the knife. You can get a good look at that. That is really, really well done. Just high-end stuff. Let's see if we can get the picture to go again closer, maybe. There we go. That is awesome. I love it. Pretty cool, guys. All right, so that's what I wanted to show you. I will leave a link in the description in case you want to pick one up for yourself. I would really recommend it if you are a Halloween lover, as I am. 
definitely is a really, really cool product. All right, guys, so that's it. That's the review. And it does have the snap closures so that you can open it up pretty big. It's one size fits all. And this, and, and it is pretty wide. I mean, it's a pretty big hat. Which is really cool. And again, it's uh, cloth all the way around. It's not net. It's not a net hat or anything like that. It's all cloth, 100% cotton. All right, so that's it, guys. That's the review. Just a tester saying be well. Happy shopping as always, guys. And until the next review, we will see you.